Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. We are on a construction site. It's dark, it's cold, and guess what's behind me? It is a genie boom lift. I love working on these things. <laughs> uh, customer complaint is it's just dead. Completely dead. Nothing. Well, not really nothing. Certainly sounds like a dead battery to me. Here's what it does. You uh, turn the key to power and you hit the starter. Classic, right? Now before we jump to conclusions, let's check the battery voltage. So I'm on the positive wire here, on the negative there. We've got our meter set up. The leads are kind of short, but you can see the number on there, hopefully. Let's see if we can zoom you guys in. Is it good with the backlight? 11.5, right? So let's keep you guys focused in on there. I'm going to hit the starter, see what happens. Ready? Okay, now I notice just visual inspection that there's two fat cables coming off of here. One of them is kind of kind of loose right here. So I want to do a voltage test only on that guy. We're at 11.5. I mean this battery's not fresh but let's crank it over and see what the voltage is on this wire oh let me guys focus you guys in here ready now 11 so my game plan is a, fix this crappy connection, B, try to start it, see if it changes anything, and then C, get the NOCO on here and see if the NOCO can start this boom lift. Alrighty, so I repositioned this big wire so it's perpendicular, really cranked down that bolt, everything is super tight, I didn't spray it with any cleaner yet. but. We should at least have a tight connection for a good experiment. That's step one. We're starting at 11.6. Okay. We hit the uh, hit the button here. Time to focus you guys in. Good thing my arms aren't too short. All right, ready. Nine point seven. So it's time for the NOCO. Alrighty, NOCO set up. Let's hit the uh, hit the power button here while we monitor our voltage. Okay, it's ready to go. Green light's blinking. 11.9. I think we should be. Alright, here we go. That's it. Damn. <laughs> Could be a bad connection. Let's try again. Why are we not reading a voltage here? Eleven point nine. Turn the key. Damn, needs more juice. Can I get my vehicle over here with jumper wires? Oh man, that's gonna be it's gonna be a tight squeeze to get to that battery. 
That's not probably not gonna happen. Damn. Holy shit! It started! No go! Wow! That was freaking awesome. 14.4 volts. That took about five minutes. I left the NOCO on. Oh wow, ghost. <laughs> I left the NOCO on for like five minutes. I'm like, it's probably gonna drain it. I can't pull my vehicle up. Can't use the jumper cables. Play around the starter. And then it caught and actually started spinning the engine pretty well and boom, fired up. So, now we have to do a parasitic draw test. I'm gonna let this thing charge up. I'm gonna turn it off, go to sleep and measure the uh, current on the battery. I mean, it's been sitting here for like a week. And the battery was still at like 11.5 volts, so could just be a weak battery. We could replace it under warranty, whatever. It's a Walmart, never start, of course. But man, the NOCO pulled through, so I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy about that. Just a quick current check, 400 amp scale. charged right now at 40 amps so yeah uh, it's accepting a charge we're just gonna let it run for a while make sure it starts and restarts and do a parasitic draw test all right it's been running for like 10 minutes still at 42 amps Shut it off and see what happens. There we go. What's our voltage? 13 volts and dropping. Okay. Well, surface charge, no problem. Let's see if it starts up on its own. I want to see what the voltage is while it's starting. Turn on our light. Place it over here. Day. Reposition the clamps. Oh, come on. Twelve point six. Just want it in view here. Let's use the Noco to prop up the meter. Back side, <laughs> since it wants to flip over that way. Okay. Can you see it from here? Not really. There you go, 12.6. Let's turn it. Pull out the button. It beeps. 12.5, and here we go for the start. Just fine, no problems. Back up to 13.6. Last check. Shut her down. And just check for a parasitic draw on this thing. I don't know if it's been sitting here over Christmas break and no one ever touched it and then it got cold. Zero out our clamp. We got zero on that wire. See it's uh, within the shakiness of the meter. Point one zero. I mean, uh, do we want to do an in series test on this thing? Take off the negative terminal and just do a uh, post to clamp voltage or uh, amperage reading. I guess we could do that to be 100% and then tell this guy to just run it. 
Someone might have left the key on. So I'm doing a check with the button out and it's ready to go. I mean, there's no lights, no anything else. It could be an indication someone just left the key in the ready position. We got point, point 0.1 or point 0.2 on that wire and nothing on that guy. So if we're at Let's see, stabilize that, point 0.1, point 0.2, hit the button, turn the key off, it's still jumping around but I guess it's a little less, down at zero. I think that's, that's all we can do here. And the starter is sometimes the solenoid doesn't engage. There it goes. Hey, so at least the uh, the alternator works. <laughs> Um, yeah, no parts required. We got it started thanks to the NOCO. Um, the guy said he's gonna buy a new lift, anyways. I don't know why, but I think uh, that's it for tonight. It's getting cold, so uh, stay warm and see you guys next time. Bye bye. Just a quick follow up on the Genie Boom Lift. It's the next morning, it's, it was in the teens at night. Battery voltage is at 12.3. Let's see if this beast fires up on the first try. Key on. A little beep. Starter spins. That's not good. That might be a problem. So our solenoid. Be a little sticky. Damn. Maybe that's why I died there, Kip. Kept trying to start it. It didn't want to engage. Ah, good thing we checked up on this thing. That's the control wire. That's the positive feed. I mean, then it's just up to the starter. So this guy spins, but the pull-in coil doesn't engage the Bendix. Hmm. Customer that, and uh, keep on moving. Just a quick shot of the starter. We got one, two mounting bolts there. Third one on the bottom. Um, engine specifications: LRG four two five EFI. Firing order: coolant capacity. What is? actual part number on this thing okay there's serial number part number build date 04 26 1999 base engine code 9c187aa